this is the perfect time of the year, end of October, to be planting bulbs. Our spring display starts in the fall. So whether or not it's daffodils, tulips, crocus, this is the time of the year you want to do it. A few supplies that you need to have, of course, are bulbs, but bulb fertilizer, a nice good um, spade, our garden gloves, and a little hand trowel, all right? Now, some people don't know which end is which on a bulb. Usually you want to look for some roots that indicates that this is the area you're going to plant this direction. Don't plant them upside down. Alliums are also very popular. Big showy flowers that happen in May. Daffodils are more in April. But this is the root area. This is where you want to plant down to a depth of six inches. Three times the diameter, that is your depth. Crocus is only about a few inches down into the soil. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna get on my garden gloves. And we're gonna be planting in a bed behind us that we've already cleared out our annuals. And we've cut back our perennials, the big, tall, woody ones. Okay. All right. Now I have some bulbs in here that we planted last year, so we may see some as we, we go. So the soil is very pliable. Now when you're doing a bed this size, you're probably going to want to put about 200 uh, bulbs in a bed this size. You want a beautiful display. And again, I'm going down about to a six inch depth. A little deeper is okay too. Squaring off the hole a little bit. Bigger holes to have more bulbs is better than digging one individual hole per bulb. It's going to take you forever to plant 200 bulbs. Right? So today we're going to be doing some daffodils. Okay. And we're going to sprinkle our fertilizer right in the hole. About a, a quarter cup to half a cup, just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to do about five, maybe seven bulbs in this hole. Two inches apart from each other typically is what you're going to do. Using the little hand trowel is great because you can kind of get them into a little corner that may not be so level. All right, again, the point side up, the roots go to the bottom. Okay, and when we're done, we're just going to go ahead and shovel and put the soil right over. Now, those of you who have a problem with squirrels, chipmunks, you may want to invest in some chicken wire. The chicken wire is just going to go down like this and then shovel a little more soil right on top of it. So you're not going to see the chicken wire. Okay. We planted bulbs in here last year, so while you're digging, every couple of years you have to replenish. Just go ahead and uh, Replant any ones that you're digging up as you go. So starting in April, you'll start to see the beautiful daffodils with all the yellows. They're deer resistant and alliums are. Tulips, unfortunately, the deer love those guys, so stay away from those. But so simple. This is the time. 